Come on, boys, you're lagging. That's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the war, otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Cromwell's in the ruins of Port Royal. There'll be a one street regardless. Rogers in Chamberlain. What do you think? The Commodore don't think much of the things are right. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, 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 oh I could think of worse. Gather those two men there. I've got a good line on him.
Now tumble up there, men. Tumble up all. Prepare to lose the topsails. That's right. Lay aloft, quick as you please. Ready to loose the top souls on my signal. Already forward? Wait for my signal, please! has given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. <laughs> 